let's check it out. Make sure we're live. Nice. Hi everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and uh, welcome to another live stream. We got a comic book on. <laughs> um, it's comics that I've been looking for. They're on the download. They're cheap. We're doing a per unit buy calculation. Okay. There are three series in there and they're important series. Um, two of them more so than the third or one of them. But there's a couple of them that are very, very important. Uh, and we'll go through them. Aside from that, uh, welcome to a lot of live, another live stream. Today is April 1st, April Fools, 2021 and uh, this is the first of a three set live stream that's it uh, we're doing comic book all today we're doing personal finance tomorrow evening and um, oh my apologies we're not doing personal finance tomorrow evening tomorrow evening we're doing uh, uh, we're talking about censorship so if you're watching this video right now on sensor tube the odds are tomorrow's stream will not be on sensor tube but you can definitely find it on bichute or rumble and odyssey and on uh, saturday morning we're gonna do uh personal finance i believe okay boop rendell how are you doing subscribe thank you very much for subscribing uh rendell hope you're doing well it's a nice comic book haul I'm looking forward to this. We're going to wait around five minutes, ten minutes for people to roll in, for notifications to go out. And I'll uh, drop my intro uh, while we're doing this. Should I show you guys what we got? <laughs> can't for, for those of you who are early, I'm going to take this down Speedy Gonzalez style. This is, here, here's the look, here's the breakdown. Ready? Ready? Before we crack it open. And then I'll take it down and do my little intro. Hey, Chicho, hey, chat. How is everyone doing? Doing a fantastic alpha bear. This is what we got. American flag. 1983 series starman 1994 series strangers in paradise 1994 series the number of issues you can see there fantastic price shipping went a little bit overboard <laughs> for the cost of the shipping but we'll get into the details after we do our intro okay elder god our next three scheduled live streams nice comic books april 1st 2 p.m youtube censorship censor to censorship <laughs> april 2nd and personal finance uh april 3rd 10 a.m thank you elder god and gang if you want to follow this work i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to support this work if you want to know what this work is about which is basically layered on mathematics so you're going to see one aspect of it right now very basic very general we're going to look at this later on right remember that is rating with a party of three cap captro berto captro berto captro berto thank you very much for the raid uh, brother sister uh twitcher raid oh god uh so you can follow the work on patreon for those of you who've been supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live ch uh, y c h o l i v e diet bug thank you very much for the tier one sub if you want to participate in these live streams and get the zombie going twitch is where you want to be at okay and gang those of you who are supporting this work on twitch thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of the collective support we're getting on twitch and patreon that we're able to do this twitching jason how are you doing twitcher someone say my name twitching jason's in we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor vk mines and gab and we do have a discord page you can come to our uh twitch channel anytime you want and in chat type in exclamation mark chicho and all those links will pop up the social networks that we're sharing and there's a discord page and you're definitely welcome to join our discord server to share information in multiple different folders faith heal how are you doing hope you're doing well 
For last streams where we don't have any visuals, which we do today, we're going to look at all the covers. Da, 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 112 comic books. Uh, for last streams where we don't have any visuals, we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast. And those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. Faith Hill doing well, thanks. Hope you're uh, doing the same. Indeed, indeed, I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Twitching Jason, thank you very much for the bits. I'm catching up on uh, putting out videos. I took the math stream that we did a couple of weeks ago, I guess now, more than 10 days ago. And there was some stuff in there that I wanted out. Twitching Jason, thank you for the bits. <laughs> there's there's a couple of things, uh, more than a couple of things. I pulled out short segments that I just want out there, right? So um, we'll see how much we load on sensor tube and here. And on that note, da -da 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 -da, we will be uploading this live stream to SensorTube, to BitChute, to Rumble, and to Odyssey. Okay. Rendell gifted a tier one sub to Tw Twitching Jason. Right on, right on. <laughs> awesome, Rendell. Awesome, Rendell. Thank you very much, Cheryl. How are you doing? Um, just to let you know what's going on on the video sharing platforms. Uh, SensorTube has taken a long time now to process the videos. Um, I don't know what they're rolling in. Who knows? <laughs> right. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Twitching Jason says to Rendell, thank you. Happy cow. <laughs> Happy cow. Fun. Um, so the videos are usually available on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey before they, they are available on SensorTube. Anywhere between half an hour to two, three, four hours uh, the day of that we're releasing them and there's a lot more videos or more videos being loaded on BitChute, Rumble and Odyssey and then they are on SensorTube and uh, SensorTube is going through a checking process and it's initially finding problems with the videos and then he it, it says they're okay so they're running an algorithm I don't know what it is uh, and they're trying to take away dislikes and stuff so treat it as you like gang okay treat it as you like but for those of you that are supporting this work uh, on those platforms, thank you very much for the support. And there's a handful of you, gang, dedicated handful of you that are on SensorTube that are supporting this work on that platform. Gang, there's a button there, here, that they've been using. Thank you very much for the support, gang. I hope you're enjoying, you're appreciating the, con uh, the content. Rendell, how happy Easter, happy Good Friday tomorrow, and lots of lots of eating time uh, <laughs> over the weekend. Gold thread, thank you very much for the cheers. Thank you very much for the cheers. Ah, uh, those are cute emotes. Cheer wall one hundred. Oh my God, macro. Uh, Marco, Marco, hey Chicho, I am your fan from Italy. Marco, hello, hello, salutations to Italy and Italy. You guys, you guys got some amazing comic books out there. One of them is, uh, we've talked about it, it's um, doll, doll, uh, space doll. Boo, beautiful artwork. Whoa, talk about blow you away, gang. I'm taking this down. I think uh, the artist, the creator, is from Italy. Okay phenomenal phenomenal ding bobber chicho i portray choo choo <laughs> how are you doing <laughs> hope you're doing well ding bobber gang should we take a look at the comics oh let me bring up what what it is that we bought here's a spreadsheet i put a spreadsheet together for this okay take a look at this i'm gonna crack this open one you guys take a look at that uh is that a mountain behind you um where Uh, no mountain it's a, it might be a house Ronnie you live in a sick place thanks I give credit to all the crystals and all the plants and all the good food and two little kitty cats and an amazing partner and comic books It's one of those uh, boxes that lid opens up this way. Right. 
Now, as you can see from the spreadsheet, okay, we ended up picking up American flag. Uh, walked into a comic store for the first time was like Disney <laughs> nights. <laughs> Oh, no, the comic stores are 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 amazing or can be amazing and they all have each one has its own unique character so if you go to one don't expect the same experience when you go to another you might but it might be really different it might be really different okay how do we get the hype train going i don't know how to get the hype train going what do you do with the hype train Chicho, Chicho's biggest annual expense, mortgage. I don't, uh, I don't pay more. I pay rent. I don't, I didn't buy a house. Okay, I want to be mobile, uh, especially, especially <laughs> rental, especially some plants. <laughs> That's funny. Think about Chicho. No, until one realizes the genius within. I, I read that one. That, that was, uh, I forget, Doctor Al Hawkins. You posted. Uh, so the quote is until one realizes the genius within oneself one will have a difficult time seeing it uh, in others and that's uh, david r hawkins um which was cool cool quote in our discord i saw it take a look at this game we got american flag by howard chalkin this is a series i've been trying to get my hands on uh, i want to get the complete series and we've got 33 issues and we got a lot of the early issues okay comical or tax right off there is a possibility there is a possibility <laughs> marco chicho batman or superman um uh eternal warrior and exo uh <laughs> actually eternal warrior and bloodshot eternal warrior valiant universe man i love batman i love superman but i like them both it depends on the writers right batman has had in my opinion more amazing stories superman the amazing stories in superman are amazing okay phenomenal ronnie chicho is how you pronounce your name yeah i thought it was chaiko yeah a lot of people try to say chaiko but it's chicho i go chicho cheryl and don't be put off by stores that are uh super basic yeah 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 uh, I've encountered a few stores that seem like the they must not do very well until you talk to the staff who at least in my experience were yeah and there are certain stores that you may want to not go back to <laughs> there are some stores that there, there used to be a lot more of them there's less now okay and gang thank you for the follows uh, I appreciate it and the subs of course and the cheers and stuff Dark Knight Returns is amazing Dark Knight is amazing you missed the train i missed the train it's long gone better luck not i don't know i couldn't figure out what to do with the train game my apologies uh, i'll be honest i walked in and didn't buy anything because i wasn't sure what to, that's okay uh that's okay you can you can look around talk to the own uh, talk to the people that are working there uh if they're good they'll try to dig a little bit and figure out what you love and they recommend you something amazing Chicho, have you read the three uh three body problem uh book book not a comic no three body problem no i haven't read it uh double or negative i'm not into comics but uh books but i am into retro video games nice there's an awesome museum like retro video game store near my house but it caught me off guard uh, how rude the owner and the staff were uh, unfortunately that's too bad sometimes you get that in specialty stores right oh no the hype train is just for us oh is it oh okay 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 okay, okay. cool thanks twitching jason ding bob or chicho uh you need to add a new role to discord asmr oh of course ding bobber we didn't think about it i think we're doing three rolling or something elder god has been rolling that out which is fantastic laugh a lot i first found you through your plant collection video years ago ah nice thing blogger i really like that video ah ronnie i was in there to just enjoy the things in there and the owner looked annoyed that me and my friends were just looking around you think they'd understand why we uh we were in awe yeah and people don't understand that sometimes people walk into a specialty store that's the first time they're experiencing such a thing 
and they're at awe they're overwhelmed it's like what is this you create a good atmosphere they'll come back right they'll come back gang let's get into comics i'm going to give you the lowdown on this here i want to do an astrophysical series. astrophysical yeah I, man i'm just gonna ask him, marco at some point before getting into geophysics from when i got into geophysics i love geophysics but that was sort of going to be a stepping stone into me going into uh astronomy i really loved astronomy so i was actually going to go into geophysics and astronomy and then I went into the environmental aspect of things it's a must read Chinese science fiction trilogy that came out a few years ago uh, double or negative really right up your alley uh, brother link it up in our discord okay link it up in our discord link it up in our discord favorite star I don't know I'm bad with names brother <laughs> our Sun would be my favorite star <laughs> I hope it shines brightly for many 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 uh, millennia to come uh, alpha centauri is my favorite star just because how bad as it sounds <laughs> gang we got american flag by howard chalkin this series is a must-have series for any comic book collector okay we got 33 issues of it we bought 33 issues in the very fine near mint to near mint let me read the descriptions of these uh, let me crack this open and i'll read the descriptions okay do, 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 do. I had this open and I closed it. Oops. Uh, we got, we got. Uh, all the issues are, and we've bought from this seller before. And this seller change, what's going on on eBay right now? I'll give you a little bit of lowdown on this. What's going on on eBay right now is there is. Uh, companies popping up that are handling shipping uh, packaging and shipping for sellers uh, big scale sellers so shipping costs are going up um, and depending on this is the first time I'm getting a ship from, from these guys and it's, it looks like it's packaged nicely so it's not like eBay's global shipping program right so there's secondary companies coming up going in between trying to do the shipping and stuff like this so I'm assuming a lot of businesses going online right uh, so the shipping ended up costing a lot more than I expected. I expected the shipping because I bought from this guy before and the shipping was around $20, $22. It came out to $23. So it came out to about 30, 35% of the cost of the books, right? So it added 29 cents, about 30 cents per issue per book for the whole lot. And there's 112 books here, right? So we got 33 issues of American flag. Uh, for 1250 which is 65 cents an issue kick it up average price is 85 cents per issue for everything already including shipping we got starman from the 1994 series supposed to be an amazing series i probably read one or two issues of american flag and starman back in the day but i don't remember them okay but from everything i've heard everything i've read american flag is a must-have in any comic book collection serious comic book collection and starman should be a have as well okay it's not as from what i understand as as revolutionary really as something that people refer to as uh one of the uh pinnacle series in comic book history right but it's a vertical comics uh important read important read um okay let me read the pressure on this because these guys have been sitting here uh, okay nice or dc comics it should be vertical title but it's um yeah dc title okay and the other series would be strangers in paradise and this is starting off ended up getting 25 issues of strangers in paradise in near mint condition for 1150 uh, and it includes issue number two of the second series so not the first three that go for ridiculous amount of money which i wish i had in my collection which i don't but i don't have this series of strangers in paradise okay so all in all this is what we ended up getting which is a fantastic buy to tell you the truth and personally in my opinion uh strangers in paradise that run is going pretty cheap and american flag is 
is really low price right now and starman by james robinson okay it doesn't include issue number zero one two or three but it starts from issue number four okay it starts with issue number four and issue number zero one two three uh are supposed to be fantastic as are the first at least 12 issues okay but you can get the first four issues zero to three on the cheap right and i've been meaning to get it but the only people that i can find on ebay that sell it uh at a reasonable price are going through ebay's global shipping program because they're in the united states so i'm not going to pull the trigger on an ebay's global shipping program okay um an american flag this baby is supposed to start from issue number one fantastic and stranger in paradise starts with issue number two okay i'm gonna take these down da, da, da. that's a long intro to this haul uh i wasn't planning on going that far down the rabbit hole but um okay let's go like this so they're facing each other halfway through so let me make sure that this is this yeah star okay cool let me show you guys the series gang welcome to another live stream apologies if i'm missing some of the chat i've heard there's a new uh ebay tax for yeah there, there there's ebay taxes coming up to yin yang um which is one reason i've held off on selling things but i'm going to relist some stuff on ebay um it's becoming problematic it's becoming problematic gang take a look at the titles nice nice so i'm gonna pull these out in handfuls now these guys he doesn't have them in backing boards okay they are in old comic book bags so i'm gonna have to rebag and reboard all of these okay but let me hold these up okay and this is the description the guy gave for this comic book lot right american flag 1 to 48 uh 33 comics in very fine to near mint condition and it goes from issue number one all the way is there any gaps no gaps no gaps no gaps all the way to issue number 26 and then we have number 28 31 32 33 47 48 and the special okay and this thing ended up costing us what did it cost us cost us 21.50 which i'm okay with v26p thank you for the bets here's american flag it's very important series okay very important series um the writer for this chalkin okay is his name on here I need to get this in a better grade 100 i'm going to get this in a better grade at some point um how we're chalking okay important series would this be very fine near mint let's crack it open let's bring it out because this i really want to read this series i'm really looking forward to it okay cool series faith hill yeah this series is supposed to be based in 2030 okay where the u.s government has moved to mars and the earth is gone to shits right and it's sort of sci-fi feel to it okay vp62 v 62 p thank you very much for the bits would i grade this as very fine man no i would grade it lower it's got wow oh, i grade it lower wow beautiful art i'm definitely going to be reading this and i'm going to try to get get this in a higher grade gang uh as the first opportunity i get maybe slapped beautiful beautiful i haven't seen the series forever okay let me show you this show you the inside artwork okay sounds like 50 years from now maybe elder god but it talks about and is based in chicago okay and uh it's sort of a like i get a feeling of sort of like trans metropolitan for this when i read the description of it right or what i know of it okay i rolled uh read the old blackhawk series he did i enjoy that as well yeah that's supposed to be fantastic too and there's one of the series that he's done supposed to be really good right this is supposed to be his 
magnus opus is that what we call it he's really well known for this okay beautiful artwork i'm gonna have to get this in a uh, better grade he hits about all comic books being tools of fascism yeah there's a lot of politics in this by the way if you haven't guessed already there's supposed to be tremendous amount of politics in this just like trans metropolitan right so i'm really looking forward to reading this i think this is going to be my next big read uh, because we've got 20 like seriously like phenomenal and just read up on how much time and energy he was spending on spending on this right he was in his early 30s at the time i believe and this is first comics and beautiful beautiful this is first comics and one of the early 80s um, independent publishers and first comics was sort of unique because it was given complete rights to the artists uh, the creators very nice that looks like trump <laughs> does it let's check it out <laughs> it does too look at this what more fit awesome 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 oh yeah look at this beautiful 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 it's got a sort of a judge dread feel to it as well of course right very nice very nice let's look at the covers for this game let's look at the covers for this very nice so number one American flag. Number two. The series Martial Law was inspired by Chalkin's work. Yeah. Really very happy to have this and you can get it on the cheap gang people are asking about what's a great series to start reading comics you can buy uh, or get into comics pretty swag pretty swag get into comics and it's hard for me to recommend certain types of series right uh, because some series uh, may sit well with some people and some series may not right but if you're into art you're into amazing storytelling i recommend gang be because price matters as well right i recommend finding some of the most important series independent or otherwise series that you can buy on the cheap okay and getting full runs of the comics because as far as i'm concerned the comic book story the comic book medium right goes beyond just the artwork and the storytelling and the layout it's the feel of reading a comic book right so grabbing these comics and flipping them and reading them laying back sitting down standing up go to the beach take some comics to the beach with you right buy cheap comics that have amazing stories to tell cheap meaning price wise inexpensive have amazing stories to tell and experience the full glory of the comic book medium okay beautiful 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 thing bobber in an infinite universe anything no matter how large uh 
is infinity small in comparison also if your destination is infinitely far away <laughs> infinitely far away infinitely far away you could travel 294,738 trillion light years towards it and you would be no closer yeah, to it than the start because that's the way infinity works and these are the good guys and these are the good guys hey there's a little kitty cat look at the kitty cat killer here look at it there's a kitty cat killer there look at that kitty cat killer look at that kitty cat killer mean sov isn't he Amen. Awesome. Sal and Via made it to the stream. And gang, don't forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. More information at wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org and or julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor 2. this looks crazy cool crazy cool beautiful artwork holy camoles i need to get a higher grade series a uh, copy of this really are embossed covers a common thing uh, no not really not really right not really some do it remember i got an embossed pump punisher war journal i have that years ago and it's still my favorite to reread because of how cool it is physically yeah yeah and that's a great series by the way that's a great series punisher war journal uh punisher series and punisher war journal and punisher war zone they were fun reads This one is number 18. Oh, it's like a bondage cover. Check this out. Check this out. Nice. It's just trippy to think about. Yeah, indeed, the thing about her. Let's bring more out. Haha, <laughs> great jewels elections you even got elections here hi everyone wizard how are you doing just found this channel i'm loving the comic talk awesome glad to have you wizard we do a lot of comic books and we do other things as well by the way so if you like the comic books and nothing else stick around because comic books are regular regular recurrence nice hammer and sickle there workers of the world unite huckleberry punisher max yeah punisher max fantastic garth ennis is by far my favorite comic book series punisher max live <laughs> awesome i love your username and i agree 100 percent punisher i haven't read the whole series but man fantastic and the villain barracuda what i think is barracuda the big big ass bad black guy like that his name was barracuda right so good look at that kitty cat killer look at that awesome 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 haha <laughs> more more chains more chains more chains is an American comic no I don't know Magus recently picked up a newspaper from Germany from 43 with Hitler and oh, collector's item Magus was it expensive just got back into comics after like 25 years read the boys and preacher nice preachers fantastic the boys I only read one issue I got to read the whole series 
Plutorio, how are you doing? Uh, this guy really gets into a lot of fights with girls. <laughs> and, and look at this cover. Beautiful. Look at this cover. Very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Look at that cover. Seriously. Phenomenal. The Amazon show was pretty close to the first one. Maybe a little less graphic. Less graphic. That was a, it's a great series. The Boys is a fantastic series. If you're not watching it, watch it. The Boys. Yeah, 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 wizard. So good. <laughs> Stella. Look at this cover. Beautiful. This is number 26. It was a hundred bucks. What drew me to it besides I love is they have an article about a asteroid impact. Cool. This is number twenty-eight. I gotta bag and board all these. I gotta go get some supplies. This this guy crack one of the people that comes here uh, crack is a comic book collector uh, he would love this he would be he would be praising this series I'm pretty sure what's up everyone Caligula's Horse, oh, Caligula's horse, how are you doing? Welcome back, welcome back. There was actually a discussion about Caligula treating his horse better than his, his citizens. Lots of, uh, lots of lingerie going on in this uh, American flag. Looking forward to reading it. <laughs> this looks like a great action. Look at this, look at this. Oh, there's two comics in this one. Why is there two comics in this one? He doubled it up. That one was 48, this one's 47. I'm just gonna put them this way so I know there's two. <laughs> here's 47. Apologies if I'm not, if I wasn't giving the page numbers it sequentially started with one and worked its way up here's 48 yes. and here's the special our chalkins gang comic book series where the where the it's one creator writing penciling at least so if you get a, you get a comic book series where the writer and the penciler are the same and preferably the anchor being the same where they produce all of it the pens the writing the pencils and the ink those series should be sought after because they tend to be fantastic rendo chicho did you frame the cover of the uh three women uh I think you know which one. Uh, not yet. No, I haven't. I haven't framed it yet. <laughs> I haven't framed it yet. I haven't framed it yet. Um, not yet. I will be. Uh, but uh, I might be getting a couple of more of David Stevens covers books. So um, I'm holding off. I'm holding off, and I need to make space. Our space is a little chaotic. We sort of went through a major shift. When the two little kitty cats came up right when sal and via came came into our space for the last few months and prepping for them to come we had to rearrange a lot of things so it's a little chaotic here right we still have our amazing spaces of course right but because we had to make the place kitty cat proof we sort of had to readjust a little bit so unfortunately they're not up yet oh but they will be at some point <laughs> in full view and glory of all our guests 
It should be a museum. It should be in a museum. Uh, Elder God, I agree with you. That art should be in a museum. And I'm pretty sure it will be. And if I could ever buy it, the original copy, if I make a ton of money, <laughs> I would pay for it. Do a triple framing. Yeah. yeah. There, there, there are other David Stevens covers where he has three ladies and three ladies and single ladies and stuff going off so secure window and uh, electric sockets <laughs> uh, yeah yeah okay check out the next series here's the next series let's bring out starman let's bring out starman This is Starman. And by the way, the American flag, most of it was written by uh, Howard Chalkin. There are other writers who wrote for this. Alan Moore has backup stories in American flag, right? Like there are Alan Moore backup stories in this series, American flag. Okay. Uh, so most of it is uh, Howard Chalkin. Okay. But there are other British, there's some British artists that, artists that wrote for this and other American artists that have written for this. And Howard, Howard Chalkin is an American. This uh, next series, Starman, DC, yeah, DC Starman, right, is mostly written, I believe, by James Robinson, this series. And it's the second series. And as I mentioned, issue number one to three, you can get on the cheap if you can get your hands on it. And that's on my radar. I have to get it okay and uh, there's a TV series out right now I don't know who's putting it out but it's based on this universe here okay and we ended up paying without the shipping it was 54 cents per unit at the shipping it came out to 83 cents per unit right and the American flag was basically most expensive per unit in stranger prayers like average 85 cents per unit US uh, bag boarded well not bagged and boarded i gotta redo out that whole one american flag but uh the star man is so let's take a look at these it starts with issue number four okay and there's it's got 55 we've got 55 issues of this by the way again so i believe it's 55 54 issues of this so it's a nice run okay and i will definitely fill this run at some point and he graded these uh I gotta tell you the grades as well, gang, just because we're doing this on the uh he graded these at near mint minus average. Very fine near mint to near mint. So average near mint minus. Okay. Just so you know uh what it is that we've gotten. Number four, the covers are gonna be dark. And I'm surprised this isn't under the, uh, what do you call it? Vertical line. I'm going to hold it back. It's coming out better on the back. Beautiful covers. Beautiful covers. I'll bring the darker ones forward so you see them. Nice. number seven I don't know much about this one all I know as far as the Starman series goes this is supposed to be the best run for Starman okay an American flag that's supposed to be the best run for American flag so I wouldn't mind reading this I wouldn't mind reading many things all right will we get the chance anytime soon mm, I think I'm gonna hit American flag first that needs to be read especially since it's political i'm loving uh, uh independent black political comics yeah same here so did i but it doesn't have the vertical title on it it just says dc which is very weird i really thought starman was vertical shuttle as well <laughs> it should be like what i've read of starman 
it should be vertigo there's no doubt about it right and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see our julian assange and wikileaks playlist wikileaks.org or defend.wikileaks.org okay. nice cover sins of the child very cool that's sins of the child part one part two part three of five look at this seriously like one thing you can do as well gang uh, is find series that you're interested in reading and pick it up beginning a certain part right so this one is let's see if we can see it part three of five right so find out it's it's, it's actually a really good thing to do if you want with the hellblazer series hellblazer had a lot of different writers on there and they showed up to do like a one issue run if you can call it a run one issue standalone or three issues or five issues uh usually were five issues Elga, you have one of them. I need to check though. Yeah. The covers are absolutely beautiful. Harris. Take a look. Beautiful covers. Didn't Assange leak Vatican documents? Um, I don't know. There must be Vatican documents there, but uh, I'd fear the Vatican more than the U.S. government to tell you the truth. So like beautiful beautiful first joust wikileaks has released many many documents oh sandman is in this one like seriously how come is this is not a vertical title it's crazy This one not, but this one. I'm pretty sure the band Sand and Stars, yeah. In the background, the person you see there with the gas mask on, that's uh the first iteration of Sandman, right? And he had a series in the 1990s as well that was under the vertical title. So I'm surprised this is not under the vertical title. This needs to be red. This needs to be red. That's what I heard when he got arrested. The Vatican run the world essentially. Well, there's a few different factions that do, but we'll keep politics on politics streams. Bojo Master. Even though comic books, there's a tremendous amount of politics in these things. Wow. Bank of England got a new look today. I heard about that. Seems to be a little bit of paint job, no? Demon's Quest part one of three, really. Will John Constantine appear in this? This one looks great too. Look at that. Number twenty-four. really just some of these must be red beautiful number 25 part two of three one of my favorite youtube videos is the v for vendetta reading love that video yeah i'm glad it came out well really i was hoping i did uh, i would do v for, v for vendetta justice alan moore and um uh oh man i forgot his name yeah there's some comic books that i've done the readings for that it's been my hope that i do them justice right and i'm glad they're received well and one of the biggest compliments i had was uh the writer of uh harbinger book of death 
the writer saw that video and complimented me on the reading uh, on it so that was huge compliment so if you do uh, f uh, book of death fall of harbinger and he's one of my favorite writers david lloyd thank you very much cheryl i can't believe i forgot david lloyd's name danite how are you doing hope you're doing well sweet dreams sweet dreams danite where do you get all the comic books um a lot of them i've gotten uh through my comic book store uh local comic book store i pick up my books i have an order list like a box where i grab new books uh every wednesday they come in and i buy a, i bought a lot of trade shows uh conventions and stuff and last few years i've done a lot of buys on ebay okay because of sort of being linked up with some of the math work that we're doing regarding investing in personal finance so i bought a lot on ebay for the last seven years or so yo let's go i might avoid how are you doing i might have done something bad i'll explain uh typing right now might be bad but it's something hopefully it's not uh destructive and getting trouble bad my friend batman yeah see that local store indeed lucky for me here i live in a city that's a comic book hub i had no idea until i moved here there's supposed to be like four action comic number ones in this town in the city and there's one street that has three comic book stores on it uh, two really two and a half let's say two and a half comic book stores on it starman the david bowie <laughs> that goes the song nice batman do you ever buy them from my comic shop no but i do use my comic shop website punisher max i do use uh my uh my comic shop website which i think is a fantastic resource for comic book collectors okay uh for seeing what's available what price things are going for uh and the data the information so kudos to them uh, they are more of a premium uh, in in terms of price goes but the other thing is i live in canada so shipping is a lot to here uh, from the united states shazam the power of shazam wow shazam appears in this one look at that who was talking about world war ii look at that sea death oh man Oh, look at you're waiting for your comic shop to open. They haven't opened yet. What? See, that I wish I kept all the comics I kept in the bathroom as a kid. It was good reading, good reading. Like this. Everyday Gatsby. I live in a small town that only has a one local comic shop, and the owner is getting older. I dread the day he retires. Oh, man. That might be an opportunity for someone else to open up a store and if land prices are there cheap if it's a major there's a demon if the land is cheap that's an opportunity for a big seller to go there because a lot of things are being shipped right just set up their base there what's your all-time favorite series what's my all-time favorite series i can't have one uh, there are multiple favorite series that i have right beautiful cover 
uh, the 2012 Harbinger series is fantastic. The 2012 Archer and Armstrong series is fantastic. Uh, Grant Morrison's Doom Patrol from the 1980s is fantastic. Um, there's so much. Alan Moore's Swamp Thing is fantastic. Transmetropolitan is fantastic. Sandman is fantastic. Howlblazer is absolutely fantastic. Punisher Max, issue number 39 and 40 go together if you put them side by side. Oh, really? Cool, cool, cool. Now, just the motherboard manual in the bathroom. Oh, there it is. Joe Master Chicho, I have learned hard lessons and hard traumatic time. Uh, traumatic time these things are good for character building but now i feel like i'm ready at the end of my life with a crippling weed addiction any advice uh, first of all it's a loaded sentence end of your life if it's the end of your life you're allowed to do how live your way however way you want right uh, so it's your choice if, but if it's an addiction where you're sacrificing other things that you would like to do in life then just realize that you're here for a limited amount of time and as far as I'm concerned this is not the end so you shouldn't try to do everything in once right however try to get the diversity out there uh, like there's so many amazing things to do brother or sister of course right so once you know that then you might want to experience certain other things in life emily any suggestions for a higher level physics class i have a list of like 15 classes i can choose and from and if i'm not sure what to take they all look interesting oh higher level physics I would say geophysics that's just my take because I love geophysics right uh, astronomy uh, but astronomy can be a two-edged sword it might be just a lot of mathematics but get into the physics more hands-on astronomy wall of text was it a wall of text uh oh should I move the text over I can move the text over by the way gang let's move the text over my apologies Ooh, I turned the chat off there we go let's move it over yeah I should have done that earlier thank you for pointing it out if you see anything that I'm doing which is sort of off you want to me to fix let me know Balance is a key word in life, indeed. I go with Rendell, right? Balance is a key word. I've been watching eBay, hoping to find a large or even complete lot of sensational Seahawk by John Byrne from 1989 before the Disney show drops and makes the price go up. Yeah, I think the price has already moved. Uh, Everyday Gatsby. But yeah, complete runs are becoming harder and harder to find. Bojo Master, thanks you show my my pleasure and thank you, Elder God. Uh, not Elder God, Rendell, but thank you, Elder God. <laughs> Emily, my dad said go with the easiest one, but that doesn't seem a good way for me. Um, yeah, I wouldn't necessarily go with the easiest one. It depends on your workload, by the way. It depends on your workload. Here's Starman number one annual. I love astronomy. I have a four electives for physics, so I already plan on astronomy related class. Okay, so you already got astronomy in there. Optics and astronomy go together. 
optics might be interesting, but I find the optics could be very difficult. Okay, it's back where it where it started. So many beautiful covers. So many beautiful covers. Really. Astronomy is great until you get eaten alive by mosquitoes. See, that says. Yeah, Emily. Uh, astronomy I liked. Geophysics, seriously, geophysics is cool. Look at this one. Starman, Starman, 80 page giant. Also starring Scalp Scalp Hunter, Dr. O'Rare Bobo Bennett. Michael Shade. Wow, oh, look at this. This is like a, a prestige format, 80 page giant. Awesome. Yeah, Ding Bobber, Elder God was mentioning Lyric Stream as well. I think we'll do on the next set. Void Hoy. There's that one video game I play where some character says says quotes that make you think so much my favorite already all the way at the uh, tippity top but only halfway there think about it already all the way at the tippity top <laughs> that means <sighs> this was which one was this one this is uh, one millennia this is just a standalone the one million uh, issue okay which is uh, dc did one million issue of certain things okay let me put the star man let me put these up standing up again uh, okay i'm just gonna do this one like that no nah, actually we'll leave okay since i started i'll do this one like this i'm gonna put these guys back and then i'm gonna flip it and then i'm gonna take a look at strangers in paradise okay and then it would be this one we'll just put it in like this uh, these ones are a fantastic shape these comics right they're very good shape minimum near mint minus okay so and this is this is the price we paid for and while i'm putting it back i'll show you guys the spreadsheet again Boop. Uh, 54 issues of starman graded at near mint minus for 29 dollars basically right which comes up to like 54 cents a pop or 80 what is it 85 cents on average 80 83 cents on average let me pull these guys out awesome and it was packaged nicely whoever this repackaging company is in canada they're way better than ebay's global shipping program right american flag i gotta read this so sweet so sweet okay let's check this out let's check this out strangers in paradise let me show you what we got okay and we ended up paying 11 50 for this 25 bucks basically 46 cents add another 30 cents so um 75 cents per issue which is pretty damn cheap and they're graded in near mint i believe he said these books let me find them for you tell you whatever yeah he said average near mint condition and just looking at these they're in near mint condition okay so this is series two we got issue number two three four five six seven nine two copies of nine two copies of ten eleven two copies of twelve two copies of thirteen fourteen and then the homage uh comics which is the next series that came up so that was the second series this is a third series from homage studios the other one was abstract studios issue number two three two covers of five six seven eight and abstract studios 97 the gold reprint of issue number two of the original series okay and the books are near mint condition so let's take a look at this and this is gang one of the greatest independent comic book creators of all time right one of the one of the one of them right there's a whole handful there's more than a handful there's a couple of dozen okay this is one of them which is terry moore okay and his ultimate series and i've talked about terry moore before his ultimate series the one that put him on the radar of everyone is strangers in paradise and this is issue number two okay 
and I've read two other I've read some of some of these uh, strangers in paradise I don't remember which issues I've never read the full run I haven't read the first three issues uh, at some point I'm gonna read this whole series there's no doubt about it I've read Terry Moore's Rachel rising fantastic I've read Terry Moore's uh, echo fantastic I still have to finish Terry Moore's tank girl okay and he's got a new series out as well so this is stranger in paradise second series and they should be all first prints by the way I'm just gonna crack this open to make sure it's a first print photonics for micros, uh, microscopes and uh, spectrography. Wow, photonics. Let's put the tape here. The main issue I run into is making a schedule like the semester. Is there a, a salt one? Yeah, that Emily, I had to drop some courses because they didn't fit into my schedule too when I was in university, which was unfortunate. And Terry Moore did everything on this basically, except for the letters, I believe. Okay, there's only one issue of Strangers in Paradise that I believe Jim Lee did the artwork for. Otherwise, Terry Moore did all the artwork. Oh, this is this is the second printing okay so issue number three is the second printing of this let me take a look at issue number uh, sorry issue number two is the second printing I want to look at issue number three right because the, the guy didn't specify and for me nah, it's okay okay Cheryl my pleasure as always okay they're talking about Let's check it out let's see what issue number three is is this is first or second this one is a second printing as well so I'll have to check to see how many of these are second printings which I'm still okay with let's check it out let's check it out I'll show you the covers as soon as I check these sorry gang And da, 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 da. and this is the first printing. Okay, so these two issue number two and three is second printing, and then from issue number uh, four is the first print. Okay, and let me check issue number five as well, just to make sure we're into the first prints. It was hard to tell looking at the covers and I wasn't gonna message the guy uh, because my bid was low enough that if it was the second print I was still okay with it getting them come here you check this out four Eisner nominations two Harvey nominations this is issue number five so he's just promoting it right he was getting a lot of acclaim for this yeah this is first print as well cool cool I still need to get my hands on issue number one two and three out of the original series that came out in 93 I believe which is unfortunate I wish I I, I took a break from buying comics then otherwise I would have picked it up oh, let's put these mice in bags as well and this series definitely needs to be read at some point by me we're definitely gonna read an issue of strangers in paradise for our comic book readings just gotta figure out which one here we go check it out my name is pop welcome to our live stream stranger in paradise second series second print of number two
number three and Terry Moore okay he's he does character development like no one else really phenomenal character development little blurry the two girls in the background they're the two of the main uh, characters and his characters overlap between his series I think Bob are you once petted a, a wild raccoon not recommended not recommended and raccoons are notorious for carrying rabies you do not want to get bit by a raccoon if you get by bit by a raccoon or any other wild animal you need to go get a get a shot okay you need to go get a shot strangers in paradise number seven and this is a series is sort of about a love triangle between two girls and a guy about that guy right there with that guy right there and it gets into other things as well his racial rising is biblical epic <laughs> Emily, you love the battle raccoon <laughs> do not i do not recommend if you want to know if you want to see how vicious raccoons can be go find uh is it a pack of raccoons in nature and give them food and you hear some of the craziest sounds and fightings well, i try to bite you when you're too fast for some reason or auto mod zap that bite me and fast together Boop. they're not even together cute cover <laughs> yeah raccoons are there's a guy on YouTube that feeds them yeah I've seen it those raccoons are pretty pretty large the raccoons we have here they're not as large as those ones they're not as fed like sausages and stuff like that like watch Guardians of the Galaxy raccoons steal everything ah elder god indeed especially if their first name is rocket cute cover a lot of uh, uh, sort of subliminal bondage activity going on there It's because it feeds them so much. I know it's crazy. It's not a good idea to uh, domesticate wild animals to that level. It's it's just it's not my thing anyway. Trump Jr. <laughs> did in a couple of years banned this comic book will be banned the world will be too sensitive to deal with it imagine when he moves out of the house those goons won't get him. no or he dies right automod automod is crazy zapping so many things Strangers in Paradise, number 13.
and this is number 14 of the second series okay molly and poo a collection of moments <laughs> was a social justice warrior uh, again don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of, of uh, capital as power to humanity for more information see our wikileaks and julian assange playlist uh wikileaks.org or defend.wikileaks.org this is the third series of strangers in paradise i believe it should be okay. this is number two how much studios the studio changed i believe how much is his or abstract was his i can't remember oh look at this that's a cool cover look at the muscle man behind her oh my god is that you look at that that's a cool cover sexy or sesky and we go from sesky to down and out down and out which is strangers in paradise has a lot of that's a pretty cool cover strangers in paradise number five there's two copies of number five here emily she thick she thick one of them is thick one of them is thick there's two of these guys I need to put on another hundred pounds though yeah well i gotta look large that was a cute cover very cute cover right and most from what i've read of terry moore and i've read a lot of terry moore um most of terry moore's main characters are female characters all, as far as i know all of his stories series comic books all of them are the main characters are female most of the main characters are female yeah that was super pretty Oh, Elder God. What does this say? Text in the background? Uh, the everything makes her uh, rich will make you poor. The everything that makes her rich will make you poor. That's pretty dark. <laughs> Rental to Elder God. Dirty man. Dirty man beautiful cover and we're by the way we're talking about this cover might as well have another look right might as well have another look beautiful cover really beautiful cover <laughs> uh, the gun comes with the full package you want the gun you gotta take the full package the holster the tattoo the look the everything about that the uh, butterflies the grass the flowing hair she will get fleas doing that haha <laughs> see death and this is the second print okay or not even a second print a third or fourth print uh, like a few years later of issue number two is called it was called a gold editions issue number two of the three issue first series that came out right so i wouldn't mind getting issue number one of this and issue number two which is the first pr uh, which is the 1997 prints of the first series that came out in 93 or 94 right so that way i can read the first three issues that they put out sure you did <laughs> a real billy badass <laughs> fun 
so that's our comic book haul gang uh nice haul nice haul i'm happy with it the only thing i'm not happy with is um um the, the shipping was basically 35 percent of the cost of the package which it is what it is it was 100 here it was this is 112 comic books right so we got on a good deal uh, we got it for 85 cents a pop bagged and boarded except for the american flag i wish the guy he, the guy's blowing through the guy's been selling for a long time he has a gigantic warehouse there has been sellers on ebay who were selling for a long time gigantic warehouse okay that have blown through their inventory they're done like they don't have anything else anymore right this guy's still around 35 is completely unacceptable uh, it it came out to a fair bit it's a secondary shipper right so if i ever buy from the seller again and i've bought from the seller before and i've been happy with the seller before okay buying from him before so uh now i'm gonna think twice about it okay maybe it's his own company that he incorporated to write off stuff because you can do that if you're running a business if we're talking about personal finance if all of a sudden the industry changes which it has because of what's going on with the whole world right maybe he decided to form another company right a shipping company so he could divvy out the profits and the expenses from one to the other right and play a accounting game right maybe that's what the person tried to do but as far as i'm concerned 33 dollars us for shipping inside canada for these books if the the shipping company wasn't there if you shipped it to me directly it would have been less it would have been at least ten dollars less which i would have been okay with uh, and the other thing i'm not you know i would have liked to see was the american flag um comic books in mm, bags and boards right and the first prints of issue number two and three of stranger in paradise but that's be me being nitpicky i'm happy with this especially if i hold true to my wanting to read uh, uh list i read american flag uh at least the first 12 issues because i've heard the first 12 issues are absolutely phenomenal really okay the first 12 issues of american flag starting with starting with starting with doop, 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 doop. with this issue let me take this guy down again i'm happy to get this right if that's one haul how many do you have total oh see that how many do i have total i don't know a few thousand more than this much more than this i've shown a lot of it see that um i got a there's a video out there of me showing you what I do with my long boxes, which sort of incorporate them into as furniture in my home. They're sort of desks, tables, I would say. Okay. Yeah, right. A lot of comics are in private hands these days. Yeah, they they've blown out. They've blown out a lot of huge distributors sold out. Like that's the one of the things with my comic shop. My comic shop consigns a lot of comics. And I've been checking my comic shop for a long time now since they basically came online and they used to have everything they don't have everything anymore <laughs> like really it's not there you have to go to uh, online to buy them or go digging through boxes complete the runs of certain things are hard to find right so it is what it is that's why I like buying these runs and uh, certain things I like to create full runs of but and one day when we get into a sort of a bigger space we need now with two kitty cats is uh, I'm going to dedicate a full room to the comic books and once we do that we'll organize everything okay gang aside from that uh, everyone um, I'm glad uh, we had a nice chill comic book haul uh, fantastic very happy about this haul uh, we got out a great price uh, important runs I'm happy to have them right I'll have to fill them, right? get the ones in there and stuff like this and fill in the gaps. But it's a good start to these, a very good start to these runs, right? Emily, I would love to have a comic collection someday. I tend to gravitate towards children's, children geared comics or women empowered. 
but I want a good collection that uh, could pass down uh, to a kid or student okay cool Emily it's been very rewarding to me and Emily I'll say this again I'm gonna promote Terry more again you want women empowerment books there's I don't think in the comic book industry realm uh, the one that's produced the most uh, women empowered comic book series as far as I know would be Terry Moore okay Terry Moore the creator of the series strangers in paradise uh, here's his name you can read it strangers in paradise echo up here echo uh, Rachel rising that's woman empowerment the max right and the other one that I'm reading right now that I highly highly recommend is uh, monstrous Marjorie uh, Ru or Lou and uh, the artist the Japanese artist I value you sharing yours and having open discussion about it. indeed indeed Emily my pleasure thank you uh, everyone I would like the love of comic books is great to see there's so many people out there just loving comic books which as a comic book collector the only time you really experience that is when you go to the comic book store in my general everyday activity my my friends that I've known over the years there aren't I don't know anyone close to me that collects comic books right they've read some people love uh, some of the books they've read but they don't actively collect comic books so this is amazing to me this is amazing to me very rewarding gang aside from that uh, thank you for being here tomorrow we talk about uh, YouTube and Google's sensor tube and sensor search as censorship okay tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. that definitely will not be uploaded to sensor tube and on uh, Saturday we're going to be doing uh, personal finance investing in personal finance aside from that gang if you want to know what this work is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work if you want to know what this work is about which is basically layered on mathematics patreon is a great way uh, to make sure that uh, you know you know what's going on and if you do have the means to support this work through patreon every day gatsby i'm headed to las vegas in may and one of the high highlights of the trip would be finally getting to visit torpedo comics system of down yeah 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 uh it's owned by the drummer from system of down yeah yeah and he's an avid collector by the way huge 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 collector and he got into it in the early 90s i believe or late 80s okay uh, he's a huge collector okay and uh elder god is posting this i'm not gonna read it <laughs> you guys can read it actually let's read it uh tomorrow's stream let's talk about youtube and google's control of information focused on censorship asmr friday april 2nd 8 p.m to 10 p.m pst or pdt i guess we would had a request to hold a live stream open discussion on censorship deplatforming blacklisting and control of information by the tech giants let's take a look at what's taking place both the cons and pros and try and figure out where our society might be headed that is the discussion tomorrow we'd be glad to have you talk uh, come and share your opinions and if you're watching this after the live stream that we're having right now uh, it's already done and I'll have the video up at some point we are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in these live streams where the chat is at, which is over here now, uh, Twitch is where you want to be at. And gang, thank you very much for the support. It is because of the collective support we're getting on these two platforms and more that we're able to do this. So thank you very much for that. That should be a good one. That should be a good one. Okay. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor vk minds and gab and we do have a discord page where people are sharing a lot of information and you can come to our uh, twitch channel anytime you want type in exclamation mark social and all those links will pop up including our discord page right there and you're welcome to join us there to share information hope i can catch that stream too yeah and by the way i looked into it yesterday because I'm, I'm i've been wondering why alphabet inc the owner parent company of google and youtube is burning youtube down right 
uh, so I looked at Alphabet Inc's financials, right? And it looks like YouTube advertisements, sensor tube advertisements, is about 10% of Alphabet Inc's um, revenue, right? Uh, and as far as I'll, I'm concerned, if I was a shareholder in Alphabet Inc, I'd be pretty pissed as to what's being done to YouTube and Google, or YouTube and Google actually. Um, because of their censorship they're losing clicks they're losing viewers they're losing creators they're losing content so if i was heavily invested in their stock i would be not holding that stock for much longer unless there's a good explanation of why it is they are doing what it is that they are doing and there's a new company out in the last two three years that is challenging google in terms of ad revenue so Google is being threatened right now on two main fronts two main fronts of its revenue right on video sharing as well as the search as well as ad placements okay just letting people know anybody that holds their stocks I'd be thinking twice about it holding it long term and gang for live streams when we don't share any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho is a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes where are my cats my cats are sleeping right now sal and Vera are snoozing away we worked them hard this morning on the female and power question i have wonder woman as my ringtone haha <laughs> awesome awesome <laughs> that's see that says good google needs to die oh god for all my messages were deleted and ct uh censored to just today for no reason crazy from the tv show ba -ba -ba. Uh, and 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 i was just catching up with the chat gang i get lost in the chat as well we will be uploading this live stream this video to sensor tube to bit to rumble and to odyssey and the odds are it will be available the same day i hope uh, earlier on odyssey rumble and bit shoot than youtube mm -hmm. sensor tube sensor tube is taking longer to process the videos maybe we got on our bad list maybe this is the next step in there whatever it is that they're rolling out i gotta look into puts on alphabet inc let's take a look at on puts on alphabet inc maybe we'll talk about that on our personal finance and investing live stream on saturday gang i hope you have a fantastic day if you can make it i'll see you guys tomorrow and mods forgot to say this mods thank you for being here and taking care of business bye everyone